February is a month many associate with love. It also happens to be National Heart Month. Heart disease, of course, a big problem in Oklahoma and America as a whole. So today we have a recipe. I hope that you'll enjoy OSU med student Abby Davis is getting closer and closer to becoming now a, a surgeon. Uh, hopefully joins us next for this delicious muffin recipe, Abby. Welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be back. We've been, you know, following your career, so you have settled on surgery. That's kind of what you want to want to go with here. Yeah, I officially submitted my first application for an audition spot. So not for certain yet, but that is the path I am pursuing. So. All the best of luck to Thank you. Thank you. Of course, you know, this is Heart Health Month. Um, you know, surgeries can be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Preventative maintenance can be a part of for that. Sure. How do we take care of our hearts and how do you communicate that to yeah. patients who are like, okay, let's prevent things before they happen. Absolutely. You put that perfectly. So I am actually um, on a rotation in the ICU this month, and I would say that definitely at least 9 out of 10 um, of our patients do have some sort of heart disease, which is unfortunate because, like you said, it is something that is mostly preventable in most cases. Um, and it's the two things we always say, diet and exercise, you know, which can get a little boring um, and daunting to talk about. Um, but I don't think it has to be so extreme. Exercise can mean walking around the block. You know, and um, diet can mean just simple swaps, eating more fruits and vegetables, not taking away everything you love, but just little things to give ourselves the best chances when, while we age. Yeah, and in what ways can heart issues affect your life then negatively if you don't take care of it? What are some of the ranges Oof. that, you know, that, yeah. that can happen? Uh, big range, big question, right, <laughs> because, you know, right. it is our ticker. Um, that thing does keep us going. And so, you know, things like shortness of breath, difficulty walking, affecting your mentation, affecting every organ your heart interacts with. It's truly um, an unfortunate sequelae can um, secede a heart disease. Yeah, so many, yeah. The, right? I mean, it, it keeps us going and all the organs mm -hmm. attached to it. That's a great way to put it. I wanted to talk about this recipe. Yes. We've got plant-based. We've yes. got uh, all kinds of things here for these chocolate cherry muffins. Yeah, and we have hearts. <laughs> and it's heart month. There's hearts everywhere. It's How love perfect month. Is this? Yes. <laughs> and so I actually, so these, I call them breakfast muffins. They can be whatever time you want them to be muffins. But it's just because, especially when it's colder outside, we're a little bit lazier, a little bit cozier in bed. It can be hard yep. to sit down and have a whole breakfast. And so I made sure I put a good amount of fiber, good fats, protein in here as like a simple snack to take on your way to school or to work, send with the kids, whatever. And I also featured two ingredients that kind of secretly help the heart a bit um, cherries and dark chocolate okay which may not be the first two things you think about when it comes to um, healthy foods and your heart health but cherries are actually a huge antioxidant um, they help you recover from exercise even and there's some studies that say they can boost your amount of melatonin to help you sleep better oh which is also um, correlated okay. with heart health your amount of sleep um, I love that. and then dark chocolate as well there's some studies that say can improve your insulin sensitivity which diabetes is another um, enemy or friend, you could say, of heart dysfunction. And they're also tasty. Yeah. So. <laughs> How do we make them? I'm loving this. This looks simple, which is what I like. It really is. Keep I did simple. this. Um, I'm kind of a slow, a slow baker. I really like to hang out in the kitchen. And even this was just <laughs> like a 30, 40 minute ordeal and was fun to do. Um, and so I start by soaking flax seeds. So a cool plant-based substitute for eggs actually is one tablespoon to flax, the three tablespoons of water. Okay. And you kind of let it like hang out, marinate for 10-15 um, minutes and it coagulates to kind of act like a binder in place of an egg. And so we get that ready. Um, we drain and dry our cherries so we don't have too much fluid, chop up dark chocolate, and that's kind of the only prep we do. And after that, we combine everything. We start with the wet ingredients, the plant milk, plant butter, vanilla, our flax egg situation, yeah. all the dry ingredients, um, and then add the cherries, chocolate, and hemp seeds, which have a whole ton of protein, actually. They're at the end. That's um, excellent. Yeah, and I half the flour with um, ground oats which is kind of the other breakfast component. Okay. I just blend up oats. You can make your own little flour and kind of have a greater fiber and protein content in your baked goods. And so do we bake them mm -hmm. for how long would you say on these muffins here? Yeah, I think I bake 30 to 35 minutes, um, a little bit longer because the cherries moisten it up a bit. But just when they get nice and crackly on the top and you can stick a toothpick in without it getting too messy. 
This is perfect. And you know, the egg substitute, another thing, obviously we know mm -hmm. egg yolks have that cholesterol in it, so a sure. substitute for eggs. Very good. Abby Davis, thank you so much, and best of luck in your education. I'm sure you will do awesome thank in what you. you're going to do. Thank you. I appreciate it.